Listen, I got to go. Listen, stand up on your feet. Listen at me. Listen here. I didn't get a chance to preach this because y'all had me preaching about other stuff. <laughs> this authority is not to just be used defensively. This authority is not to just shut down things in the realm of the spirit. This authority is to be used to start spiritual activity. Which means the highest form of this is not just against the devil. You just tell him, shut up, move, and get. That's all time you need spent on it. Just stop. Just stop. I mean, sometimes we headed down the highway, you know, might have got caught up going a little fast. Have you ever passed one of them one of them officers with a radar? And when you pass for they just That's all it take. You pull over. That's authority. And when you sense the enemy coming in and out of your life, all you do is say. You are in such authority that your whisper makes him tremble. When you catch him speaking to your mind and you're entertaining thoughts, you just tell him, shut up. I didn't give you the right to speak to me today. Shut up. I'm not going to entertain this. You are dealing with spiritual entities who are scheming against your life. Therefore, let me prophesy 2023 will be the greatest year of your life. Because you are going to use your authority to run the realm of the spirit. I don't have time to tell you that your prosperity is in that realm. There is a secret to getting money, <laughs> to getting blessing, to getting favor. You got to work the realm of the spirit. There's a secret to getting healed. You got to work the realm of the spirit. There's a secret to getting favor. It's all coming by the activity that happens in the realm of the spirit. And I'm pretty sure your pastor is going to lead you deeper into this. But you have to now become offensive. Which means when I wake up in the morning, I use my authority to set my day in motion. Me and my wife have coined a phrase, win the day. Say that after me, win the day. Win the day. Which means when I get up in the morning, I'm going to win this day. Everything that God has planned for my life this day, it is going to happen. Everything that God wants me to do, I am not going to be hindered. I am not going to deal with demonic spirits. I ain't having it. You got to have this attitude because even though you have authority, Satan loves to disrespect you. He knows he has no business messing with you. He knows you have been given authority, but every day he going to get up and test you. And that's when every day you got to get up and say, bring it on. See, some of you can't deal with that. You can't deal with it. That means whatever you're doing in my life today, I will take pleasure in shutting you down. Knowing that when I open my mouth, things scout in that realm. Not because of who I am, but because of whose I am. In other words, they know who's backing me. It's because of who I'm under. 
And remember me telling you yesterday, the demon spirits know it. Because they said, Jesus I know, and Paul I know, but who are you? When you open your mouth, it is not to just release demons. But she said it a moment ago, Peter said it a moment ago, angels are waking every, every waking moment of your day saying, what do you want? Because your authority in the realm of the spirit is far above them. They have been sent to serve you. In the realm of the spirit, you get up every day and you commission, commission them after assignments, after people. There's some people in our life and our family that we're interceding for. And we're releasing these angels out there every day to just make their lives miserable. In a good way, you understand what I'm saying? Because just like demon spirits influence people, so do angels. And I got good news for you. There are more with us. You got to act like you're a spirit being. You got to get up in the morning saying, okay, I'm fixing to open up my mouth because my voice registers in that realm. Now, my protection, my provision, my destiny, my purpose, every ounce of favor, every door open, all the wisdom I need, all the revelation I need. And Satan, you will not hinder not one plan, not one purpose, every scheme I command you this day. You will not operate in my life. I know you can't. You know you can't. And you just start thanking God. And instead of walking around saying, man, this has been a terrible month. I've just been under attack after attack. You're going to start walking around saying, I ain't seen the devil in six months. I think he's scared. I think he's scared to come to my house. I think he, because the last time he came to my house, we beat him up so bad. The demon spirits went back to Satan and said, please don't ever send me down there to that household again y'all don't hear what I'm saying demons tremble at the very mention of his name and you and I are in that name they tremble at the very mention of your presence 